Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some before and after hygiene tips that I wish I knew earlier. Cause when I tell y'all I have perfected the pH balance, I have perfected my body chemistry, all of that. And I just wanna share with you guys because I feel like a lot of women aren't told how to properly take care of themselves, clean themselves, what they should and should not be consuming to maintain a healthy pH balance and what they shouldn't be putting down there and all that good stuff. So, yeah, so we're gonna start with what everybody knows is most important is to hydrate. Before you know you're about to get busy or whatever, make sure, if you know days before, if you know hours before, make sure you're hydrating. Make sure like the day before or two days or the day of that you're not eating anything like asparagus or hot Cheetos, anything with a really strong scent because you're gonna smell like that down there. Everything that you eat comes out through your pores, your vagina, everything is gonna smell like that. So please be mindful of what you are consuming before you know you're about to do to do whatever. Pooping. <laughs> Make sure you poop before you take a shower. Make sure you poop and pee before you take a shower. So if you know it's eight o'clock and your little drink drink coming over at like 10, you need to poop at eight, take your shower at 9.45. <laughs> you need to make sure everything's fresh. You need to make sure you pooped before so you don't have to, you know, and pee so you don't have to stop and pee. And then let me tell you why. No matter how much you think you have cleaned after you peed, if you don't take a shower, you're not clean. No matter how clean you think you are after you done pooped, if you don't wash your ass, it's gonna smell, and then your ass gonna be some grass. To get the clean, the cleanest, the cleanest clean that you could get, make sure you poop and pee before you take your shower. And then that goes to taking showers before you have sex. Make sure you're washing up. We don't do no, I don't care. I'm 23 years old. I did that when I was 18. We don't do that no more. We don't do no, oh, 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 no. How about, let's take a shower. Not only are you mixing around dirty bacteria, who knows what you're creating? You're creating a yeast infection. Make sure he's clean and you're clean. You we don't need nothing mixing up and brewing up in there. You know what I'm saying? Also make sure that you're comfortable enough with the person that you're with to be like, go take a shower first. like. And if you're not mature enough to do that, then you shouldn't be with that person. Yeah. Oh, don't mind my edges, y'all. I really, I didn't do them today. Make sure you take your vitamins and probiotics. And this is every day, just to keep everything intact, keep yourself. One thing I did notice, so if you don't know what maca root is, please do your research on it. But maca root has a earthy, milky scent. And I noticed that when I intake maca root, my vagina smells like maca root. And I love the way maca root smells. Your vagina is not supposed to smell like perfume and roses. It has a natural earthy scent, or it should. It shouldn't smell like fish. It shouldn't smell like blood if you're not on your period. Um, it should have like a, 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 the best way to describe it is a natural balanced smell. I can't explain it. It smells good though. Um, yeah, people always try to say your vagina is not supposed to smell good and blah, blah, blah. Like, to me, it smells good. Um, make sure you're regularly smelling yourself. When you go to the bathroom, every time I go to the bathroom, I smell my underwear because I have to know what's going on. I have to know what I smell like. Know what you smell like before you have sex. If it smells like fishy, just, just don't do it, please. Unless your man just don't care, but for your sake, that means you need a break and you need a detox. But make sure you smell yourself. Every time I'm in the shower, I make sure I smell myself. Every time I use the bathroom, I make sure I smell myself. I need to know how I'm smelling, what's going on, and if I need to fix anything. So I know a couple videos back, I did recommend boric acid, which I do think boric acid is very effective, but it's important to go to the OBGYN first. <laughs> Don't think you got a yeast infection or a BV or whatever and you think you're about to keep popping it because it's going to keep coming back. 
I suffered with reoccurring BV and I didn't know why. And I went to the OBGYN and I haven't had any type of problems ever since. But she recommended this like seven day, de like this detox pill or whatever. It's like medication that you intake. And on like the second day, everything was fine. But I just kept going just to, you know, make sure everything was out. But I know you want to take the natural route. We all want to take the natural route. But going to your OBGYN and getting a medication first is important because you need to flush all of that out. Whatever is down there, you need to get the bacteria out before you start trying to put boric acid on top of it and all these washes and stuff. Up. No, just get rid of the root, get rid of the problem, see what's wrong with you. And then maybe you could pop a little boric acid, but I haven't even had to do that ever since I actually got checked out and... The reason that I kept getting reoccurring is because I have an extremely heavy flow. Um, I have an extremely heavy flow, abnormally, abnormally heavy flow. <laughs> so I took like the seven day pill thing. And ever since then, I've been Gucci. I've been confident. I haven't had to worry about no type of nothing. Even after I straight off, straight after my period, that's when I used to get BV, straight after my period or after I had sex. I don't have to deal with no nothing. And if I do, like if I have a little scent, whatever, it will last like a day and go away. Because like I said, I'm drinking water, I'm detoxing, I'm taking my probiotics and yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about this shower routine that you need to have before you do the do, you know what I'm saying? For one, you know, you want to be soft, you want to wash your whole body, you want to exfoliate. But when it comes to your vagina, you want to use a unscented wash unscented no smell it smells like nothing and i use the dr bonner's baby unscented um that's my favorite it has no smell i use it on everything i can use it on my body i can use it on my scalp i can i can use it on it don't matter what i use it on it cleans and it's natural the ingredients are oils and of course the things that make it soap but there's nothing like extremely harmful in it and i'm always recommend to light dye Dr. Bronner's per. So what you want to do is you want to, with Dr. Bronner's, I use literally a drop. Like it suds up so much. So I use two different washcloths. I use a body washcloth and then I use a genital, why well, I keep saying genitals, a vagina. I use a body washcloth and then I use a vagina washcloth. I, I use a different, I use a different washcloth on my vagina. So the way I clean, right? So we all have the bean, right? We all have a bean, hopefully. If you don't have a bean, I'm sorry, your life sucks. But anyway, so make sure you lifting that bean skin up, okay? And make sure you're cleaning in there because I promise you, like when you pee, like I say, you just peed right before you get in the shower. When you pee, like things get dry in there or, um, you know, it, it it holds smells like you want to clean. You want to make sure you clean under that bean skin. Okay. You also want to clean in between the lip and the vulva. So, yeah, in between the lip and the vulva. And then you also want to make sure you go as far as like down in between the inner thighs. So, with this soap, because it's natural, you don't have to worry about getting a little bit inside, but... You know, try to avoid getting it inside, but you don't have to really worry about, oh, dang, like, I got it in there. Like, it's okay because, yeah, just don't be overdoing it. <laughs> and then as far as your butt, yeah, this is where y'all be. Because mm. I heard, I done heard some stories from, from some friends, some male friends. This is where y'all be messing up. So, when you wash your butt... You want to make sure you get the, you know how the guys have a gooch? We have a gooch as well as the space between your vagina and your butthole. Wash that. Wash that real good, baby. Scrub it up. Scrub it up, dub. And you want to do these like two times until there's nothing on the red. I use white um, cloth so I can see. But you want to do this like two or three times. Um, and then when you're cleaning your butt, Make sure you're going around your butthole inside a little bit, not like sticking it up there, but just say this is your butthole. You wanna clean that part, okay? This is your butthole. <laughs> you 
this is your booty hole and you want to clean this part you want to get all in there this is also very neglected i don't know why i did that my eye got dry a little dry but another part that's also neglected is your butt crack yeah get that butt crack get all of that and then when you're done you need to be bending over and spreading them cheeks and let that water run out because what good is it to wash swish that all around and just leave it there no you want to make sure you rinse it all away um another thing make sure you wash your feet make sure you wash your feet because if you got your legs that like that and you just get a little if you have stinky feet <laughs> if for the girls who have stinky feet well you have to wash your feet anyway but i'm just saying like extra for the girls who got stinky feet just extra extra make sure because when you're intimate everything is in the air <laughs> wash your mouth wash your butt wash your vagina make sure everything's clean get behind your ears you know because people are going to be right here you know what i'm saying make sure you spray yourself with some perfume but not too much put it in places where they'll smell it but they won't lick if you get what i'm saying like don't put it on your if you know they like to lick your neck a lot don't put it on your that's gonna that's gonna taste so nasty so just make sure you spray like somewhere you know they don't lick, like right here. You know, something that smells really good when you sweat and something that's gonna be like, mm, you smell good. I get that compliment a lot. <laughs> You're like, you smell good. And I'll be like, dang, you smell good. <laughs> Your dental hygiene. I have a whole video on a, my whole five step dental hygiene routine, but you wanna make sure you're flossing. This is like, it should be normal, but a lot of people wouldn't. I don't think a lot of people actually do this because a lot of people aren't taught to floss, but you have to floss. I promise you, the back of your mouth is boofing if you do not floss this, like, for real. Um, make sure you floss. Make sure you're using mouthwash. Um, this is not necessary, but it kind of is a water pick. It's a flosser, but it shoots out water, like, at the doctor, like, the, like how the dentist used make sure you have one of those to get in between your teeth and just kind of spray everything out of your mouth and a good mouthwash do you get out of the shower you've exfoliated clean you got your underarms you got your entire your body you're soft um once you get out make sure you moisturize your body and yes moisturize your vagina that's still skin but don't put anything too thick or oily because you know that area is prone to ingrown hairs and bumps and stuff like that. So just make sure you're well taking care of the skin, exfoliating, keeping it however tamed, however you want, trimmed, whatever. But uh, make sure you're exfoliating your underarms, ex uh, detoxing your body, like I said, drinking your water, moisturize your butt crack because your butt crack, make sure you get your butt and your butt crack because your butt crack, I'm telling you, Doggy style rack shots. They they see it. They and you know they like the party like the Yeah. So make sure you get that because we don't want no crackage going on. <laughs> no, no skin breaking, no friction. Also make sure you moisturize your feet because you don't want no alligator feet rubbing up against him thinking that you being sexy and you you not. He's really in pain right now. That is it for this video. Those are all the tips that I have. Um, please make sure to like, thumbs up, tell your friends about my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any more questions or, you know, any questions about hygiene, um, and grown hairs, hair, anything, I can answer it because I'm an experiment. I'm an experience. I've experienced a lot, so y'all can ask me questions. I'm big sis, <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up, say friends about my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Say bye, honey. Oh, he's not messing with you. Say bye. Look at the camera. Bye! <laughs>